today is Saturday, and I'm going to <laughs> get my, all my packages, and then I'm going to go to a uh, yard sale down in Cherry Tree, that somebody told me about. Uh, then I guess for a change, I'm going to go to Franklin and Oil City to whatever sales I can find there. There was a few. Two yard sales. It's already almost 11 o'clock, and I left town at 9. I'm not even made it to Franklin. I found a yard sale, free VHS. Ah, sickness continues. And uh, free, free books, free music books. Uh, I bought a glow mold uh, skeleton bag back there. Uh, bought about 16 bucks at the first sale. Few things we'll see you later. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to all those other yard sales though because uh, it's getting late already. Well, on, on some back road, uh, Astral Lane or something, that was not a good sale. Everything else has been good. I forgot some, uh, the last yard sale, there was two albums with, uh, one had Star Trek cards and one had DC cards, and I forgot about them, so I got sidetracked, and I remembered after I was at the Humane Society, and I could have just went and turned right and went back, but I did not, so... Somebody else can get them. Oh, there's a sale right here. Uh, McDonald's. I ordered 20 piece McNuggets and a milk, small milkshake, and it was. He said 11, 11. Mm, it was wrong. He said, oh, they didn't know about the special. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It was eight dollars. Oh man, this is slow. I found it uh, out in the middle of nowhere land. Your destination is on the right. Is it really? I better have something to last us. Record player, I don't know. I don't think it's any good. They said it was. Two bucks. Alright, it's gotta be a quickie haul today. I got a load for the flea market. I went to Goodwill. I only I went to both Goodwills. This is calm down, Tom. <laughs> um this is what I got in the oil city Goodwill. It sucked. I got their tapes for forty nine cents. Elvis High Plains Drifter. I got like three copies of that tape. And this wasn't marked, but of course it was yeah, it, they were 50 cents a piece. Um, they had a set of Star Wars Special Edition. They had $8 in it. That's what it was that. Um, hmm. So, basically... The yard sales at first panned out pretty good. Uh, what was this stuff? This is, uh, I went to the one sale and it was... 
I was way out, I was way off, end up getting uh, this, this that pack, you had to go 62 down all city out to 157, and it was too far to go to get 325 cent video tapes, ha, the jerk, Miley Cyrus for 50 cents, Britney Spears, best of, and test drive off-road too, and this I got, ha. Uh, the Humane Society, all their antiques were only a dollar, but they had gotten rid of all the good stuff. I did get this lantern insert, red. It's marked, uh, hold on, Deets, number 40. So it was three dollars. Uh, oh, and this was another thing for a dollar. I got three items at the Humane Society. I got this. It was there last time. They wanted 15 bucks. It looks okay. Uh, I got. This was a dollar. It's uh, a the new nickel library. Collect them all. Number 22 in a series of 500. Collect them all. <laughs> Jeez, man. All right. Uh, hold on. Take a break here and water my garden. Ah, uh, the last sale I went to had the stereo. Oh, I think I just mentioned that in my earlier clip. Uh, Two dollars. I see the case is marred. And I don't know. It felt like there's a needle on it. She says they work this. Got an eight track player. Let's turn the sucker around here. Oh, this thing weighs a ton. Sound design. I might just take the flea marker. I'll have to try it first. Not sure if I'm gonna do anything with the eight track. It's probably filthy in there. Uh, huh. It's got all its knobs. Got a little equalizer. Let's see if it can come off that needle there. Ooh, I may have to keep this because it's got 78 and 16. And it does have a needle. I don't know how much of one. All right, and then, um, hmm, what sale do I do next? Hmm, I think we need to take a break first. Rosie! <laughs> oh, come on now. Come on, Rosie. Nice water pressure, thanks, Al. Come on, man. The Paul reminds my broccoli rose. Gotta do a haul video, Rosie. Sorry. Oh, go get back here. Why are you so scaredy? Come here. Kitty, kitty, kitty. I didn't mean to come up so fast on you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, there you go. Poor baby. Poor little baby Rose. Say hi. Poor old Rosie. See you later, Rose. Be good. Okey-dokey. Hmm, where do I begin? Uh, first yard stuff, I found two whole records. I think they charged me a dollar each. I don't know. Or three records, I guess. Harry Lewis and the Playboys. Everybody loves a clown. And not. And Diana Ross Supreme's Neil Diamond. And then, uh, I think they charged me a dollar for this kitty. Okay, they said they'd give me a deal on these quarter toys. There's a couple little ponies. That looks a little dirt. Aw, oh, it was a unicorn with no horns. Well, that was a waste. I don't know what this little guy is. There's a couple cars. Monster cars. There's a, 
This is probably the best thing. There's some plastic figures. So we'll see what's in there. And there's SpongeBob. There's a battery. Probably leak out. Uh, Ernie. Bathtub floaty. I have a bunch of these Sandies pencil toppers. I don't know if I finally got rid of them or what. Hong Kong pencil sharpener telephone. I don't know if it's worth anything. And then there was a little Cracker Jack whistle. I think she charged me a buck. This lady had it in stuff in the antique mall in Titusville and somewhere else. She said, and they made her get rid of it and move it all. She gave me this for a dollar. Let's see what this label says. Four Winds, handmade in Morocco. Very cool, I guess, for a buck. I don't think I can use something on it. Uh, I guess I gotta unwrap that. Check that out. I think it's some kind of tobacco jar. I would assume that belongs in it. It seems to match up with the pattern, but it's got a chip. She had uh, $8 or something like that on there. She gave it to me for three, and I took it because it's pretty cool regardless. Probably gonna sell it. Uh, oh good. Did you get this out? Huh? Huh? Where am I going to put this? Uh oh. I bet you that's beautiful. Let's see if I can Oh yeah. She had five. I don't know what she gave it to me for. Maybe a couple bucks? I don't know. It's a Great Northern Pike. And on the other side, Wise Snacks. Series of 1989. Probably just full market it, but it's still pretty cool. I might try to get the five bucks. I'll look it up first. Uh, got a dollar on this. I think she charged me. Well, maybe she did charge me a dollar. I don't know. The Pepsi glass that says, uh, Welcome to Las Vegas. Pepsi's got a lot to give. I don't know when this was made. It's a Camco or whatever. Three C's. Uh, found a video stuffed in there with their, their records, Scarlet and the Black, which I own, uh, Gregory Peck, and Nazis, can't be all bad. Uh, deck of cards, she had a dollar on there, I guess that's what they charged me. Hmm. I only got them, I didn't count them, she was going to, I said, Demer has a building on them. The Canasta cards. This is probably the best thing that was hanging on the thing, I didn't look it up or anything, but... Uh huh? Ooh, I'm not worth a thing before coffee break. I don't know if this is a good one or not. It's a Fire King. Let's see what this is. Could be worse. Ah, ah. Alright, got this little Mudman offer. It's got some damage on the bottom. I think she charged me a dollar for it. Kind of cool. Um, no, I don't think it's like some knockoff. This is on there too. Look at that. I thought it was uh, I thought it was Monroe at first, but it's not. It's Madonna from Dick Tracy. Applause, Disney. Uh, would be from the original movie, I would assume. So pretty vintage. Haven't seen. Whoa, some of that stuff's actually not dying. Uh, I guess maybe that is it for her. Set. Oh no, there's not. there is another thing. Oh, I got too much stuff. Breaking. Good job, Tom. Oh, and I got all these things. The last thing I got from that lady's sale, it was outside. They gave me, well, they said they were giving me a deal. I said I'd give them a couple bucks for what was in there, and they were a quarter each. They're all Star Trek except for this one, Robert Adams. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet with them. Probably going to check them out and see if the lot's going anywhere on eBay. but. Chances are no. Alright, the second sale I stopped at today was probably the best, even though I didn't spend much. I got this. I guess it's all there. Rip, ashes, ash, that's the here lies someone I wouldn't trust. <laughs> but it's, I don't know if it's, uh, it's Empire. It's got the two tombstones. It appears to have lights in it. Looks like you can put a light at the bottom, too. So I don't know. I'm not very aligned there. Huh. See, there's the... Yeah, they all say the same thing, except for Rip Here Lies the Bones of Henry Jones. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, 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 nice job. 
Alright, so then these were hanging on the thing. I didn't really look at them. They say wrestling. <laughs> they were a buck. So I think I can maybe make some money on them? My daughter would probably like them, but they're 13s. I don't know anybody that wears a 13. Maybe they grow. Well, I don't know about these. I cannot find any Converse wrestler shoes. Huh. Not Google or eBay. There's nothing. Uh, Grace hits album. They had a few records. She said 50 cents each. They were pretty filthy. Wasn't much. Just some stuff. It's killer clean. The record looks okay, but the cover is shot. Uh, sound spectacular. Frankie Valley. Nothing. I don't even know why I bought that now. I thought that was Michael Jackson's Glory Taylor. Uh, stars on Long Play 2. And stars on Long Play. And somebody wrote Forest across there. And I got the box set of Bruce Springsteen that you find all the time. And then, uh, these were all free. No back cover on this. Uh, Song Hits Magazine. It's got Simon Garfunkel. Yeah, Seals and Croft. Daryl Hall. Uh, Goldman 100. Oh, just, I didn't even know I grabbed that. This is Credence, but it's missing the cover. Sheet music for some cool stuff, I guess. Lady Blue. Uh, I don't know what else. Winners and Losers. Country and Pop Stars. Cool. League Guitar. Uh, I don't know what that is. Tuning in an R&B background. Hmm. Well, and then... What was the best? Their tapes were free! They had a bunch of VHS and it was free. Everything in the box. I got, I took and picked up some more Mary Kate and Ashley. One day I'll have enough for a set. Got four. Uh, Saved by the Bell. I don't think it's worth anything. None of these probably are. I don't think I had Kindergarten Cop for my next uh, Schwarzenegger set. Mouse Soup. Or why'd I take that? I don't know. Rent a Kid. Uh, Leslie Nielsen and Christopher Lloyd and that guy, Matt McCoy. Why is he sound? Sounds familiar. Partridge Family, come get happy. Come on, get happy. Richie Rich, Macaulay Culkin. I've been watching him with Red Letter Media. I haven't seen him on there lately. And I got Dumble Doom and uh, Last Crusade. I hopefully have enough copies of the first one, Raiders, and I don't know if I do to make more stuff. Anyway, so uh, this stuff is all free, so other than extra clutter, I don't have nothing invested in it. Um, oh no, this is terrible. Need one more hand. Oh god. Sorry, Bruce. Let's see if Bruce is in good shape. I'm gonna get filth in my car. Oh, hang on. Mm. I only had one cup of coffee before I left for yard sale and I got it at Spanky. Uh, there's the book. And it is the vinyl. The vinyl. Oh, I can't get it out. It's probably. Oh, Looks like they're all here. Uh, yeah, oh, it could be worse shape. Five records. That's pretty awesome. This set was never. <laughs> this set was never worth anything. Ooh. It looks like it was never played like most of them, because it's all live, and I don't think anybody cares. But it looks pretty good. I'm gonna check it out. Make sure it hasn't gone up in value. I he's been doing that podcast with Obama, so maybe it's worth more now. Uh, somebody had three dollars. Oh, I'm gonna ruin it. I'm gonna get. Not wait, Bruce, and I'm going to tear it apart. Alright, let's push this in here. Now, oh yeah, this is the other box of crap from there. Another free book. All the stuff in this box is free. <laughs> free, free, free. Oh, God. Excuse me. Don't be a pig. Uh, we got a Princess of Power book. Free. Couple Elvis VHS. GI Blues. Change of Habit. Uh, Star Trek Obsession. 
Uh, safe house with Patrick Stewart on a Star Trek thing today, I guess. Outlaw Josie Whale, which I'm not sure if I had it in my set or my lot. I haven't put it on yet anyway. So. Death Wish 2. Damn, I was going to watch. Oh, Harem Scare, I guess we got another one. Steve Ray Vaughan, Guitar Method. Look at that. Crime Zone with David Carradine. I think that's a good one. I'm going to put that off to the side. Uh, date Night. Uh, it's sealed with a weird cover. Oh, her hair gets disheveled. Oh, look at that. They look beautiful. And they don't. And they look beautiful. And they don't. Whoa. Uh, Too Young to Die with Brad Pitt, Juliet Lewis, Michael Coquif, Michael Tucker. Never, don't, I've probably seen it, don't remember it. Uh, Red Riding Hood, Amanda Sidfried, Gary Oldman, uh, Cooley and High. Is that Chris Tucker? No, can't, is it? Looks like him. Uh, Garrett Morris, Glenn Turman, uh, Garrett Morris, yes. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen it or not. Star Trek Motion Picture, special longer version. I'm gonna enjoy that. Wish I could watch it with uh, Mike from Red Leather Media. The Evil That Men Do. Bronson has never been meaner. I remember this is pretty good. I think this has his wife in it, right? Uh, nope. Or is it? No, nope, no. Nope. Just Bronson, J. Lee Thompson film. Uh, Star Trek 6, Dis Undiscovered Country, Valentine, and then Denise Richards. Oh, is that? Looks like, uh, what's her face from Buffy? What's her name? Uh, it doesn't say she's in it, but David Bor Boritz is in it. Catherine Heiger, I think that's a woman that ruined her career by talking about that movie. Knocked up. Hey, look at this. I've been wanting to watch it again, Billy Jack. Uh, oh, oh, I forgot it was in there. I stuck it in and didn't even pay attention. I forgot it was in there. Oh, here's McBain. Oh, I'll get to it. It's going to be the last video I show. Saddle Tramps with Jack Pounce and Bud Spencer. He was in those westerns with uh, Terrence, or, uh, yeah, come on, Tom. Terrence Hill from My Name is Nobody. Fun. Uh, Star Trek 5, um, Star Trek 4, Star Trek Next Generation Family, Rouse Bell, I guess I got like four Elvis, and Voyager Caretaker, Lady Hawk, which I already have a copy of with, uh, What's Her Face, and, <laughs> well, Matthew Broderick, I always forget he's in that, and Rucker Howard, The Fifth Element, Rich Lane's favorite movie, Cardo, should I say, uh, <laughs> Deep Space Nine. I have not seen this foil version for a while, so that's pretty cool. It might go in my sci-fi. Sealed Anne of Avonlea. There was another similar set like this, and I should have got it. Um, so, you done? Oh, I got Insurrection. Terrible. <laughs> I got Matrix, the first one and the second one. <laughs> Revisited. I don't know. Oh, wait. Is that just a special tape? I don't know. It's neat. I haven't seen that box set before. Overboard. And the final one. Oh, my God. I can't believe it's there. I can't believe it. Oh, yes. Evil Dead. I've never seen this cover in the wild. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. Yes, the cast. I can't believe it. The bass, man, it was free. Free! Alright, now we got one more box, I guess, because that's all the other stuff I bought. One other sale in Oil City or Franklin. I don't know. And that's the one I should have went back and got those card books. Ah, uh, it's kicking myself for not doing it. Funds went down some, so here we go. We're gonna just uh, do this on the grass, I guess. Uh, I spent twenty-two dollars at this sale. This one had the notebooks of cards. Uh, one dollar. I have. Don't know if it works. One dollar, and he's got his uh, gun somewhere in here. Uh, gun. Uh, now the sun's coming back out. Here, buddy, don't shoot me. 
If you're going to be difficult, you won't be allowed to have a gun. Now behave. Don't point it at me. And I got a little Boba Fett. They threw that in. Or no, that's actually Jango. Is that Jango? Wait, blue? I don't know. Who knows? Alright. Uh, One dollar. Blu-ray set of Star Wars. Complete saga. Oh my god. It's got all the six first... Uh, wow. That is sweet. I thought it was just the three other films. The first three. I'm going to have to hook up my Blu-ray now. Even though those have all been changed. Uh, these were a quarter each. How cool is that? Turtle sandwich holders. Probably just sell them, but I don't know if they're worth anything or not. They're, uh, yeah, 2015. Oh, well. That's been six years. I think that was a dollar. It says, uh, Ultimate Showdown. Twelve episodes on two discs. I don't know if that's a complete series of stuff, and there's some special features. Um... Then they went through their clothes. I have some pants I have to try on see if I f they fit. Uh, some black Levi's for 29 by 32s. Hopefully if I can't fit in them, I can sell them for enough to buy my next pair of 34s. I need 33s. These are Wrangler. I've had more Wrangler since I was like 12, so I don't know. But, um, I think somebody passed away that had these pants. They said they were skinny. Um, yeah, but these are both 32s by 29s, and they're both Wrangler. Uh, these were a quarter each. Uh, what is that? Five Nights of Freddy? There's two of them. I don't know if they're worth anything. They took tags off them, unfortunately. I think off them. Oh, no, that one's on there. Five, 2016. I'll look them up, and I'm probably just going to take them to the flea market. Sell them for a couple bucks, hopefully. And then the last stuff is... Oh, there's a shirt. I think I took it, but I wasn't sure if I'd be able to fit into it. It looks kind of small. And it's not really me, anyway. It's uh, Otto's Tavern, home of the big women, Emlington, PA. I don't know if I offend anybody wearing that or not. Oh, well. It is to laugh. Mel Gibson, all, or Mel Gibson. Ha! <laughs> Edit. Uh, oh, no. I forgot his name. Oh, never. Mel Brooks said, um, F them if they can't take a joke. Steve Martin always said, comedy isn't pretty. Anyway, they said a dollar each on their CDs are really dirty cases. I may have to change them because they're pretty foul. Uh, but I think she gave them to me for 15 because there was 20. I got Megadeth. So far, so good. So what? Bob Marley and whatever, I can't remember his band, Ballers? Oh, Whalers. <laughs> Uprising. I'm just going to resell those. Hopefully, I'll check and make sure they're not rare. Bad Religion. There was quite a few of them, so I bought all of them except for one. I think was scratched up too bad. Uh, hopefully, these look good. Sometimes CDs, when you get them in the bright sun, it's actually harder to see the damage. My eyes, anyway. Creedon. Beatles. That's what got my attention was the Beatles. Uh, Bad Religion. The Cranberries. They had the other album, the one for me, but I didn't buy it. It doesn't sell that fast. Maybe it would now. I don't know. Uh, band Bad Brains Greatest Riffs, <laughs> which I'm going to probably listen to that. I, I didn't listen to any of this stuff because I put it in the back. Sick of it all. I don't remember who these guys are. <laughs> I figure they got to be worth a couple bucks at the flea market. Tom Petty Wildflowers. The Beatles Love just has a... Because, Get Back, Glass Onion, really, that's Glass Onion's a love song? Yeah. Eleanor Rigby, Julia, I Am the Walrus, that can't be love, it must be just what they call the album. This is a System of the Down, I only bought it because it's a, like a double album. And Bob Marley and Gregory Isaacs, uh, I don't know who that is. I know who Bob Marley is, of course. And there's another Bob Marley, it's two discs. Um, I may see if my buddy Caleb wants it first before I sell it. Bad Religion. Uh, Beatles Love Again. I'm not sure what the deal is with this. <laughs> it would appear they're the same album. And then Bad Religion. And then final thing, John Lennon. Ten. The one disc was filthy. Uh, I think it'll clean off though. I don't know where they stored these. But they're dirty. Uh, let's see what this was now. Oh boy, this must be just two different versions. One's a fold open with a book. And 
the next one is, what is the deal? It would appear that it's just one disc in this set. Huh, I don't know. So this is a 28 songs, Sgt. Pepper, or 26 songs, Sgt. Pepper's, and this album, this side. Uh, all you need is love, Sgt. Pepper's, yeah? Huh, I don't know. What's going on with this? I thought maybe it was an extra disc. Oh, wait, it is. That's a DVD. I don't know what's on that. Oh, the DVD. That's what that is. Wait a minute. Wow, that's crazy. I have to go check that out and see if there's something on it. So, I guess that's going to be it. Uh, I don't know if I'll have time to film anymore and put, show that stereo working. Whoa, get back off. Uh, I'd like to know more about those boot shoes. I don't know. Um, cool, though. Here's my... Yeah! Well, I said do a quick update. Um, I sold the blow mold skeleton and the tombstones. I sold them for $70 to James. I uh, probably should have held out because the skeleton was selling on eBay with the chip and everything for over a hundred bucks. Uh, I sold a few of those DVDs. No, the Palm Petty CD had a big gouge in it, so that was worthless. I don't think I sold any of the Bad Brains. I sold that uh, one Beatles. I think just the CD. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's about it. Thank you.